All right, there we go. Let's get on with the day. All right, so it's Tuesday. It is actually my birthday, so uh, finally getting into Revelstoke on my birthday. That's pretty cool. Uh, I was trying to ride today. I was trying to get up there uh, last night, but unfortunately, I uh, wasn't able to make it to 509 to pick up the rest of my outerwear gear. Uh, so we have, so I had to stay the night, and then I just picked it up this morning, and then we'll be in Revelstoke here in a couple hours. And now we're leaving Spokane to head up to Revelstoke. It says it's going to be about uh, six hours. So hopefully it won't take that long, but let's see if we can make up some time. Hopefully the last fuel up before Revelstoke. Alright, well since their pump here is slower than Father Time himself, may as well sit inside the truck and wait. A little money saving tip for you. If I had a tip for everyone out there that goes that likes to go on road trips or uh, does yearly road trips, whatever, uh, one thing I would say is bring a 24 pack of water. You can get it for like three bucks, four bucks at the at uh, the grocery store. I would say get a 24 pack and just throw it in the back seat or wherever you can fit it. And in instead of buying two dollar waters, you have 24 of these little guys for four dollars, which is way cheaper. I always gotta stop for the road snacks. All right, and back onto the open road. All right, we're coming up on the border right now, just a few minutes away. It's been kind of an interesting drive. It's been really, really twisties, about 35, 40 miles an hour most of the way. I've definitely never been up to this corner of Washington before, so it's kind of interesting. It's kind of fun to be here. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see you on the other side. All right, we are over the border into Canada now, so let the fun begin. For my LML Duramax owners, here's a quick tip. When you're in the snow and compact ice, So basically all I did was hit uh, tow haul mode as well as my exhaust brake, uh, turn that on, and it's basically braking by itself at about 50 kilometers an hour right now. So it's basically just using that exhaust brake to keep me slowed down and keep me at a constant pace uh, going down this, because this is about a, I want to say 5% grade right now with uh, compact snow and ice on here, so it's just keeping, it, keeping me at a steady uh, speed right now. One thing I didn't realize when I was going on this route uh, up to Revelstoke is that I didn't uh, know that there was a ferry until probably uh, 30, 40, 50 kilometers ago. Uh, and this whole time I've been hoping that uh, there was a there was somewhere where I could get uh, some cash because I have no Canadian cash on me. I, I have uh, ten dollars from uh, ten Canadian dollars from last season, but uh, I was hoping that there was something along the way, which there wasn't. And now I got here and there's no pay station, there's nothing that says it costs anything. So I'm assuming that it's one of those uh, services that is funded by uh, the Canadian government. So if it is, thank you Canada. <laughs> I'm off the ferry, now it's the last about 30 minutes or so, and then we hit Revelstoke. I didn't realize it when I went to start editing the video, but I didn't actually film an outro, 
the other day. Uh, I've actually been here for a couple days here in Revelstoke. I've just been super busy getting everything set up here. Also been kind of working out a few things with the sled and why it's not running correctly at the moment. So uh, still getting that, still trying to get that figured out. But that is where I'm gonna end today's video. So uh, if you have not already, please consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.